great joy and a great privilege for me to be able to worship with you this morning. <laughs> I am thankful to God for the partnership that has been established between our congregations. And, and I'm also thankful for the wonderful time that we had worshiping together with Pastor Petar Pilic and your beautiful, beautiful choir in September. Također sam zahvalan i za to predivno vreme koje smo proveli u slavljenju zajedno sa pastorom Petrom Pilićem i sa vašim predivnim, predivnim horom još u septembru. You know, I am in an interesting situation this morning. As I am a Romanian, I'm finding myself in Serbia, but I'm preaching in English. Čudno sam situacije ovog jutra, jer ja sam Rumun, a ovdje sam u Srbiji, a propovedam na engleskom. But I am thankful to God because I am among friends. As you know, there is a long friendship between our nations. And in Romania, we have a saying that goes like this. During the times, there were only two neighbors that we didn't fight against. One of them is the Black Sea, and the other one is Serbia. So, I am among friends, but more than that, among brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, with God's help, we'll turn to His Word. And uh, the title of the message that I want to bring forth to you this morning is God's Chemistry Lesson. As Romans 8, 28 tells us that all things work together for good to those who love God. God's chemistry lesson. I have never been a bright student in what chemistry is required. But my wife is a pharmacist. And I learned that if you go to the pharmacy with a prescription which has to be prepared on the spot, <coughs> the pharmacist will pour in the same recipient substances that can be harmful or toxic by themselves. Farmaceut uzme posudu svoju farmaceutsku i u nju stavi sastojke koji bi sami po sebi mogli da budu veoma štetni ili toksični. However, he plays all those elements together and produces the medicine that you so desperately need. Međutim, on uzme sve te sastojke, pomeša ih i proizvede napravi lek koji vam tako puno treba. Well, in a similar manner, God puts in the recipient of his sovereignty all kinds of things, all kinds of circumstances which by themselves can be very nauseous and painful. Na taj isti način Bog u svojoj suverenosti uzme jednu posudu da kažem i u nju stavi razne stvari, razne okolnosti koje bi možda same po sebi mogli da budu veoma štetne ili bolne. But God brings them together and produce medicine for our soul. Ali Bog ih sve uklopi te okolnosti i proizvede lek za našu dušu. God's chemistry lesson. And the first thing that I would like to bring to your attention this morning is the complexity of this lesson. Božija lekcija iz hemije. Prvo ono što bih teo da istaknem ovog jutra jeste složenost te lekcije. The complexity. 
Colossians 8, 8.28 And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God. All things. All things. Mind you, Paul, da, Paul does not say here some things or a few things and not even most of the things. But all things work together for good to those who love God. Samo da istakne to, Pavle ovde ne kaže malo ili nešto, ili čak uglavno, nego kaže sve ide na dobro onima koji ljube Boga. Let us think for a moment at all these things, and first of all at the beautiful things that happen to our lives. Ajmo da trenutak da razmislimo šta je to sve, a naročito šta je to sve lepo što se desilo u našem životu. Think, think of all God's blessings which are renewed for us every day. Try to write them down on a piece of paper. Razmislite o svim dobrim stvarima koje su nam se desile i pokušajte da ih zapišete na papir. And I assure you that you will be surprised to realize how much God has done and how much He is continuing to do for us. Ja vas uveravam da ćete se iznenaditi koliko toga je Bog uradio i koliko toga još i dalje radi što je dobro za nas. Air, vazduh, water, voda, food, hrana, healthy, zdravlje, family, porodice, salvation. Spasenje. Not only the good things, but also the less good things. A ne samo dobre stvari, nego one i manje dobre stvari. Not only the sweet things, but also the painful things work together for good to those who love God. Ne samo ono što je divno, već i ono što je bolno ide na dobro onima koji ljube Boga. This morning you are here and your heart might be broken. From different reasons, your heart might be full of grief and you might be already asking, how can a broken heart be a good thing? Ovog jutra možda sedite ovde slomljenog srca i možda vam je srce puno tuge ili bola i sigurno se pitate kako slomljeno srce može da bude dobra stvar. No, I do not believe that a broken heart is a good thing in itself. Ne, ja ne verujem da je slomljeno srce dobra stvar samo po sebi. But listen to me, please. Ali molim vas slušajte me. It can work for your good. Može da izađe na dobro. Here are a few examples from the scriptures that will help us understand the manner in which painful things work together to our good. Ima nekoliko primjera u Svetom pismu koje će istaći koje mogu da objasne kako sve stvari mogu da izađu na dobro. Think of David, the man after God's own heart. Razmislite o Davidu, čovjek po Božijem srcu. But when David sinned, God allowed very difficult situations, painful even, to appear in his life. Ali kad je Bog, kad je David zgrešio, Bog je dopustio da teške stvari, čak vrlo bolne stvari dođu u njegov život. But you know what David confesses of those situations? Please read Psalm 119. Ali znate šta David kaže o tim okolnostima i tim događajima? Pročitat ćemo iz psalma 119, stih 71. Kaže, dobro mi je što stradam da se naučim naredbama tvojim. Have you ever told God in prayer, Lord, I thank you for problems, I thank you for trials, I thank you for sufferings, Da li ste ikada rekli Bogu u molitvi, Bože, hvala ti za probleme, hvala ti za kušnje, hvala ti za patnje? You know, a great deal of faith is needed in order for one to be able to say, I am broken, my heart is grieved, but it is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your status. Potrebno je 
puno vere da bi neko rekao srce mi je slomljeno i pun sam tuge, ali dobro mi je što stradam da se nauči naredba na tvojima. My dear brothers and sisters, sometimes the trouble is the best teacher as it teaches us the lesson of turning towards God. Drage braće i sestre, ponekad je nevolja najbolja lekcija zato što nas uči da srce okrenemo ka Bogu. And sometimes a sickness or a suffering teaches us more than a sermon. I ponekad nas patnja, bolest, nauči više nego propoved. Think of David. Razmislite o David. But think of Joseph as well. Ali razmislite i o Josifu. He was a young man when a young man who loved God with all of his heart. But when he was 17 years old, he was sold by his own brothers. On je bio mladić koji je volao Boga, ali kad imao 17 godina, braća su ga prodala. And Joseph became a slave in Egypt, a slave in the house of Potiphar, and at some point he was even imprisoned. Ali on postaje sada rob rob u kući čoveka koji se zove Potifar ili srpski prirod Petefrije i u jednom trenutku čak posta ide i u zatvor. However, all these chained failures paved the way for his promotion in the future as Joseph would finally become the prime minister in the land of Egypt. Međutim, svi ovi neuspesi, tako naređeni jedan na drugi, utrli su put u napređenju Josifa u budućnosti, jer on na kraju postaje i premijer Egipta. And 20 years later, when he would meet his brothers again, and he would show them his perspective over the whole situation, he would say, and please read in Genesis 15 verse 20. 20 godina kasnije se ponovo susreo sa svojim braćom i kada se njima podelio kako je sagledao sve ove godine, šta mu se dešavalo, evo šta on kaže. Počitat ćemo u prvoj moj sjevoj 50-20. Kaže, vi ste mislili zlo po mene, ali je Bog mislio dobro, da učini šta se danas biva, da se sačuva u životu mnogi narod. God has turned evil into good. God who makes all things to work together for good. Bog je to zlo okrenuo na dobro. To je Bog koji čini da sve ide na dobro. Another example here. It was, there was a evil king in Judah named Manasseh. Još jedan primjer. Postoje je zli car u Judeji koji se zvao Manasija. A leader who had great difficulty in relating himself correctly to God. To je vođa koji je sa velikim poteškoćama uspevao da se postavi kako treba pred Bogom. So that God had to warn him. I zato je Bog morao da ga upozori. And you know how he did it? I da li znate kako je on to učinio? Please open your Bible at 2 Chronicles and read in chapter 33 from verse 11 until verse 13. Zato ću pročitati u drugoj dnevnika 33 11 do 13. Čitat ćemo zajedno. 33. poglavlja, 11. do 13. stiha. Zato dovede gospod na njih glavare od vojske cara Asirskog i uhvatiše na nasiju u trnju i svezavši ga u dvoje verige bronzane, odvedoše ga u Babelo. I kad beše u nevolju, moljaše se gospodu Bogu svom i ponizi se veoma pred Bogom otaca svojih. I moleći se, umoli mu se, te usluši molitvu njegovu i povrati ga u Jerusalim na carstvo njegovo. Tada pozna Manasija da je Gospod Bog. You see, in what Manase is concerned, the bronze feathers prove to be more valuable than the crown of God. I vidite, što se tiče Manasije, te ti bronzani lanci, verige o kojima on priča, izgleda su bili vredniji nego zlatna kruna. And many times God has to bring us down from the pedestal where we place ourselves in order to humble us and make us seek his face. 
I mnogo puta Bog mora i nas da zbaci sa to postavlje na koje smo sebe postavili da bi smo se ponizili i tražili njegovo lice. What I want to tell you is that not only the good things, but also the bad things. Ali ono što hoću da vam kažem, ne samo dobro, dobre stvari, nego i loše stvari. Not only the pleasant things, but also the painful things work together for good to those who love God. Ne samo one prijatne, već i one bolne stvari se uklapaju zajedno i izlazi na dobro onima koji ne bude bolno. The complexity of the lesson. But secondly, please notice its cause. Which is the cause that makes all things work together for good to those who love God. Other translations literally say, on the other hand, we know that God works all things for the good of those who love Him. Imaju jedni drugi prevodi koji do sloce Rimljanima 8.28 kaže ovako, a znamo da Bog daje da sve ide na dobro onima koji ga ljube. Relate this statement to Ephesians 1 verse 11 which talks about God. God who does all things according to His will. And Pogledajte Efescima 1.11. Kroz kog, a kog se odnosi na Boga, kroz kog i naslednici posta smo napred određeni bivši po naredbi Boga koji sve čini po savjetu svoje volje. And then you will truly realize what is or better said who is the cause that makes all things to work together for good. It is God. I neka nam ovaj stik te kaže da Bog sve čini prema svoje volje, posluži da bolje razumemo ko je taj koji daje da sve ide na dobro, to je sam Bog. It is God. Amen. To je Bog. So, if you believe that what the Bible says in Romans 8, 28 is a fairy tale, if you state that it is impossible for such a word to be a reality, this is due to the fact that your God is too small. Iako nam se čini da Rimljanima 8.28 je kao bajka i da je suviše dobro da bi bilo stvarno, onda je to verovatno zbog činjenice da je vaš Bog suviše mali. This is due to the fact that the God that you trust is not the real God. Verovatno je to zbog činjenice onda da se puzdate u Boga koji nije pravi Bog. Martin Luther, the famous reformer, was a great man of faith. Veliki reformator Martin Luther je bio stvarno čovjek vere. But on a certain day, even Luther fell in a state of depression, in a state of a huge despair. Ali došao je moment iza njega jedan dan kada je stvarno bio ispunjen depresijom i kada je bio u stanju očaja. His wife, Catherine, was determined to help him out of that situation, but she didn't succeed. Njegova žena, Katarina, je bila obučna u tome da mu pomogne da se izvuče iz te depresije, ali nije uspela. Eventually, she put on mourning clothes and entered his room. Na kraju ovu glodeću, koju oblači u periodima žalošćenosti, i ušla je u sobu, crninu. When he asked her who died, she answered, I thought you already know, I thought that is why you are in this state. God died. I on je pitao ko je umro, a ona je rekla, pa verovatno znaš, te postavila sam da si zato u tom stanju u kom si Bog je umro. Luther leapt up with indignation and exclaimed, beware of what are you saying, because it is a blasphemy. I Luther skočio sam izrevoltiran i povikao je, pazi šta pričaš, to je bogohuljenje. Yes, she answered, I know it is a blasphemy, and I apologize, but I believe that an even greater blasphemy is to be aware of the fact that God is alive and still live as if he were dead. Ana bi odgovorila, znam da je bogohuljenje i izvinjavam se, ali čini mi se da je mnogo veće bogohuljenje 
živeti, biti svestan toga da je Bog živ, a ponašati se kao da je mrtav. Luther understood and got out of that room and got out of that state and began to live the way each one of us should live. Luther je razumeo, izašao iz sobe, izašao iz tog stanja i počeo da živi onako kako bi svako od nas trebalo da živi. For a God who is ever alive and who never dies. Da živi za Boga koji je živi, koji nikada ne umire. Dear brothers and sisters, God himself is the cause that makes all things to work together for good to those who love God. Draga braća i sestre, Bog je taj uzrok, razlog, Bog je taj koji stoji za toga da sve ide na dobro onima koji ljube Boga. But please notice not only the complexity, not only the cause, but thirdly also the condition. Zatim ovdje još u Rimljanima 8.28. Dakle, primetili smo složenost, primetili smo uzrok, ali primetimo još jednu stvar, a to je uslov. The condition. Because you see, Romans 8:28 is not a promise available to all people. It is not a word that automatically applies to everyone. No. There is a condition, a small will that causes the whole mechanism from Romans 8:28 to function. Ne, postoji jedan uslov, postoji jedan zupčanik za kojući koji počita taj mehanizam može uopšte da funkcioniše. And this condition is to love God. A uslov kaže ljubiti Boga. To love God. Romans 8:28 to those who love God. Rimljanima 8.28 kaže onima koji ljube Boga sve ide na dobro. Those of us who do not love God are not included in this promise. Ako ne ljubimo Boga, nismo uključeni u ovo obećanje. Those of us who do not love God cannot claim such a privilege. Ako ne ljubimo Boga, ne možemo se pozivati na takvu privilegiju. And even worse than you might re have realized, there is a reverse principle contained in Romans 8.28. Namely, that all things work together for the worst to those who do not love God. A znamo da onima koji ne ljube Boga, sve ide na gore. For example, the preaching of the gospel can work against you. It is the preaching of the gospel a good thing? Of course, of course it is. It is the power of God under salvation to everyone who believes and this gospel must be proclaimed. To je sila Božja na spasenje svakome koji veruje i to evanđelje se mora objavljivati. But the gospel is a double-edged sword and Lord Jesus told his disciples. Please read Matthew chapter 10 verses 14. Ali također je dvostruki mač. I evo što Isus kaže učenicima na tu temu iz Mateja 10 stihovi 14 i 15. Ako vas ko ne primi, niti posluša vaše reči, izlazeći iz kuće ili iz grada onog, otresite prav sa nogu svojih. I zaista vam kažem, lakše će biti zemlji Sodomskoj i Gomorskoj u dan strašnog sude nego li gradu onome. You know, someone knocks to your heart's door today and bids you to open in order to receive Lord Jesus. Zvate, neko danas kuca na vrata vašeg srca i molim vas da otvorite da biste primjeli gospoda Isusa Hrista. A vi kažete, vi kažete, beži, neću da te slušam, da pričaš o njemu. Then, God commands his servant, shake the dust of your feet and you angels attach the proof on the fire. 
A ono što Bog onda kaže svome sluzi, otresi prah sa svojih nogu, a anđelima kaže uzmite prah i priložite taj dokaz u dosije. And when the judgment day comes, and you say, you know, Lord, I have never really had the opportunity of receiving Christ, so it is unfair of you to send me to hell. Pa kad dođe dan suda i kada kažeš, gospode, nisam nikad imao baš priliku da čujem o tebi, nije fair onda da me šalješ u pakao. God will answer. Angel, bring forth the proof from the fire. Bog će onda odgovoriti, anđeli, donesite onaj dokaz iz dosijera. Then the angel will come holding a few specks of dust in his hands. I doći će anđeo noseći malo praha u svojim rukama. You see the dust? I reći će vidiš ovaj prah. It is the dust that my servant shook off his feet. Ovo je prah koji mu je sluga otresao sa svojih nogu. On that certain day, on that certain place, na taj dan ili na tom mestu, He knocked at your door's heart, and you slammed the door on him. The preaching of the gospel is good. The preaching of the gospel is extraordinary. The preaching of the gospel is absolutely necessary. But if you reject it, it will turn against you. Uvedenje vađelja je izvanredno i to je nešto apsolutno neophodno, ali može da se okrene protiv tebe. Another example here. The Lord Jesus Christ himself. Još jedan primjer ovde, a to je sam Gospod Isus Hrist. Is the Lord Jesus Christ good? Da li je Gospod Isus Hristos dobar? Of course. Naravno. Of course he is. Naravno da je. He is by far the best thing that happened to our planet. I on je nešto najbolje što se desilo ovoj planeti. So, if you receive him into your heart, it will be extraordinary. Dakle, ako ga primiš u svoje srce, to je izvaredno. But if you reject him, this thing will turn against you. Ali ako ga odbiješ, okrenut će se protiv tebe. Did you know that Jesus said about himself, I am the door? Da li znate da je Isus rekao za sebe, ja sam vrata? Of course, he was talking metaphorically, but what exactly is a door? Naravno, to je slikovito rečeno, ali da vidimo šta su to vrata. What exactly is a door? It is that opening in the wall or the wooden thing that closes the opening. Šta su vrata? Taj otvor u zidu ili onaj komad drveta koji zatvara taj otvor? What do you think? What is a door? Šta se to vrati? It's both things. Ja mislim da je jedno i drugo. It's both things. Because, well, if not for the opening in the wall, we wouldn't be able to talk about the door. Mislim da su i otvor i drvo. Jer da nema otvora, uopšte ne bismo mogli da pričamo o vratima. But in the same time, if you go to the store, you won't buy the opening only. Ali isto vreme, ako odete u prodavnicu, nećete tražiti komad otvor. Yes. The door is the one who allows you to enter, but the door is the one who keeps you outside. Dakle, vrata jesu taj otvor koji vam omogućava da uđete, ali takođe je komad drveta koji vas prečava i ostanete onda na drugoj strani. And no, spiritually speaking, the name of the door is Jesus Christ. I dukovno govoreći, ime tih vrata je Isus Hrist. He is the one who grants you access into heaven or the one who will keep you outside. Dakle, on je taj koji vam daje pristup da uđete u nebo ili vas da ostavi na drugoj strani. Do you understand? Razumete to. For those of us who love him, receive him, he is the one who will take us inside into eternity into God's presence. Za nas koji ga volimo i koji smo ga primili, on će nas uvesti u večnu Božju prisutnost. But to those who reject him, who do not love him, his righteousness will tell, you have no access here. You may not enter here. Ali oni koji ga ne ljube, koji su ga odbili, 
njegova pravednost će im reći nemaš pristupa ovdje, ne možeš da uđeš. And what I'm trying to tell you is the fact that if he is not your savior, he will surely be your judge, but you are bound to meet him anyway. I ono što hoće da vam kažem je da ako nije tvoj spasitelj, sigurno će biti onda tvoj sudija, jer bilo kako moramo se sočiti sa njim. And if your needs do not bow now before him as savior and lord, one day your needs will bow before him as judge and lord. I ako sada ne savijete svoja kolena i kletnete pred njim kao pred spasiteljem i gospodom, jednog dana ćete kletnuti kao pred sudijom i gospodom. Don't forget, if you want Romans 8, 28, apply to you. The condition is to love God. Dakle, nemojte zaboraviti, ako hoćete da 8.28 Rimljanima bude primenjivo na vas, uslov je ljubiti Boga. The complexity, dakle, složenost, the cause, uzrok, the condition, uslov, but lastly, notice, please, the consequence as well. I posljednje, primetite tu ima i posljednica. What is the consequence? What is the outcome? Ko je ishod? What is the good that all teams work together for? Šta je to dobro? Kad sve kažemo sve ide na dobro. Something profound is coming next. Verse 29 follows verse 28. Ono što sledi je nešto zaista duboko. Vrlo, vrlo jedna duboka misa, a to je nakon 28. dolazi 29. stih. Ajmo zajedno opet da pročitamo i 28. i 29. stih. A znamo da onima koji ljube Boga sve ide na dobro, koji su pozvani po namerenju. Jer ko je napred poznao, ne i odredi da budu jednaki, obliči u sina njegovog, da bi on bio prvorođeni među mnogom braćom. Kvešte. Which is the good that all things work for? Dakle, pitanje šta je to dobro? Not the fact that you will become richer, more popular, or even healthier. Nije činjenica da ćete postati bogatiji, popularniji, čak i zdraviji. But the fact that one day you will be conformed to the image of Jesus. Već da ćete jednog dana biti saobraženi na obličje Sina Njegovog. Postaćete kao On. And what extraordinary thing is it must be to be like Him and to be with Him for eternity. To je, mora da je predivno biti kao On sada i onda i biti sa Njim u cilju čitavu večnost. But if you haven't come to Jesus, if you haven't received salvation and all things seems to be working just fine, ali ako niste došli Hristu i niste primjeli spasenje, izgleda kao da sve u životu funkcioniše prilično dobro. You are healthy, enjoying your life, family, prosperity, and you are saying unto yourself, I don't need God, I don't need a savior. Dakle, osjećate se dobro, zdravi ste, imate novca dovoljno, i kažete sebi, ne treba mi Bog i ne treba mi spasitelj. I'm very well the way I am right now. I sasvim je dobro ovako kako se trenutno osjeća. I want to warn you that someday this good will end for you. Želim da vas upozorim da to dobro u kojem ste sada jednog dana će prestati. I want to warn you that someday this good will end for you for you because all things work together to the worst of those who do not love God. Ja hoću da vas se pozorim da tome dobro dođe kraj, jer onima koji ne ljube Boga sve ide na gore. You will die and you will end in hell. Naime, umrete i na kraju svog života završite u pakla. Mind you, the devil offers the best at the beginning and keeps what is worst for the end. Samo da vas upozorim da džavo tako radi, on najbolje da na početku, a ono najgore čuva za kraj. On the other hand, God keeps what is best for the end. A s druge strane, Bog ono najbolje čuva za kraj. And if you love God, one day you will be glorified with Jesus and you will become 
like Jesus forever. I ako ljubite Boga jednog dana ćete biti sa Kristom, bit ćete proslavljeni kao Hrist za uvek. And on that day when the gates of eternity will have opened before us. I na taj dan vrata večnosti će biti otvorena za nas. And all the fights and the toy will have gone away and we will see him and we will be like him for all eternity. I sve borbe i sav onaj napor će za uvek nestati i vidjet ćemo ga i bit ćemo kao on za čitavu večnost. We will also say Alleluja for Romans 8:28. I tada ćemo reći Haleluja za Rimljanima 8:28. Because we know. We know that know that know that all things work together for good to those who love God. Pozdano i čvrsto znamo da sve ide na dobro onima koji ljube Boga. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. In Lord Jesus name. Amen. Nebeski oče zahvaljujem ti za tvoju reč u ime Isusa Krista. Amen.